Welcome to my backyard. This is Linda Schneider with Medina Soil and Water, and I am looking for hummingbirds. We have one down here in the bee balm. Oh, there it is. Let's see if he stays around for us. So the hummingbirds are pollinators, and they like native plants. Oh, he's just moved to the... They like red plants that have uh, a tube-like shape. That's the plant to attract them. If you notice, that he's on the cardinal flower. Let's see if I can zoom in. And it is a he, because he's got that big, beautiful red breast. Oh, nope, that's a female. That's a female. So a lot of people do plant native plants for hummingbirds, which is a great way to attract them. But let's talk about how they pollinate. They have uh, the feathers on the top of their head is actually where the pollen collects as they move from plant to plant and also on the tips of their beak. What a great show. I think he's gone. She's gone. Now, a lot of people use hummingbird feeders. Okay. And in Cleveland, I try to discourage people from setting up a hummingbird feeder. It's a great attractor, however, when it gets 90 degrees out, that hummingbird feeder grows bacteria, and you could be making your hummingbird sick. So unless you're very passionate and you're willing to change the water every day when it's 90 degrees, you may decide to go the native plant route. Red flowers are great. Once they find your garden, they'll go to anything. They'll go to the purple bee balm, they'll go to the white flowers. They don't really need red, except that's the color that attracts them to the yard. Good luck.